Hey guys, welcome back to YouTube Figure. If you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Today we're gonna take a look at the SH Figure Arts Satoru Gojo from Jujutsu Kaisen. And at the time of this video, um, Bandai just announced they're gonna do a reissue of this guy in the main character, which is probably the fastest reissue I've seen at least recently. Um, really cool for a lot of people, but it kinda sucks for me because I just paid for the scalper prices, but on the bright side, I get to enjoy it now, and I can get another one for retail, which is really nice. But anyways, um, here's the left of the box, here's the right of the box, and here's the back of the box. And this guy is definitely one of the most OP character recently, and probably the most popular right now if you watch the anime. But anyways, um, let's bust this thing open and see all we got. I have been talking too much. And here's the figure still in the inner packaging, looking absolutely beautiful, and let's just check it out. Alright, and here we have the figure itself, and my first impression on this figure is pretty good. I mean, it's a really simple design, um, you can't really go wrong with it, and this is an $80 figure, alright, I'm just kidding, but um, this guy is using all the latest technology, looks like he walked out straight from the anime, all that good jazz, the paint job is really clean, no issues, and whatsoever, and let's just take a closer look at the figure. Um, there's really not that much paint work to begin with, and again, um, with such a simple design, um, they can't really screw this up, like, this is just really, really cool. Um, yeah, um, the texture on the hair, really good, and I think we can just jump straight into the articulation. Very, very cool looking. And for the articulation, let's quickly go over from the neck down. He can look up about this much, look down about this much. You can tilt the test side to side, no problem. We have a lot of ball joints over here, and we have like really nice moving pieces um, for the collar. And we do have a pull-out shoulder. You can pull this out quite a lot. You can raise his arm up about this much. And you have um, shoulder swivel over here, um, bicep swivel as well, I think, with the joint. Uh, not really, but you can bend about this much, and you do have the ball wrist, of course. And for the ab crunch, you can bend forward about this much, bend backwards about this much, which is quite a lot. Have some really good side to side movement. And for the leg, um, with the soft interior over here, like this is super soft, you can kick up about this high. Bend about this much, thigh swivels, side to side pivot, and toe hinge. And I believe that's it for the articulation. Um, really, really nice. Again, I always have to bring this up, but kind of wish Naruto has this kind of treatment. Just saying. And yeah, um, let's check out the accessories. And for the accessories, we can start with the default face. Again, it looks absolutely amazing. Can't really go wrong. And then we get a smiling, talking face. Um, he's really talkative after all. Looks really good. And next up, we have the unmasked head, and this is definitely one of the best head sculpts I've seen. Um, I like the attention to detail. It's even got the long eyelashes. And yeah, again, um, the hair sculpt is definitely one of the best, if not the best, I've seen from Bandai. I can't remember the last SH figures that has such crazy hair. Like, oh, look at all this detail. It's really, really sharp, too. Hmm. Very, very cool. And for the interchangeable hands, first off, we get a pair of um, just display open hands and these are pretty standard and then we get a pair of hands for a domain expansion and then we get one right hand telling you how small you are and one of these like jujitsu posing hands on um, this is very very cool and lastly we get a pair of hands for a hollow purple this is really really cool and yeah um, let's check out some action posing And for the size comparison, let us start with Yuji from the same line, and I think they look amazing together. And I can't see any reason why this line won't continue to succeed, so I expect to see a lot more characters from Bandai. Um, for instance, I think we can get like different versions of Gojo and Yuji, um, maybe a proper hairstyle for the Hollow Purple, and just a short list of um, Yuji will be really nice. And yeah, um, let's continue. Let me know in the comments which ones you will like though. And next up, we have some Dragon Ball SH figure arts, and I think they look very good together as well. And next up, we have some Mayfax figures, and I think they look very good together as well. Um, Gojo is a really tall guy, right? 
And then we have some amazing Yamaguchi and Naruto SH figures. And here are some common riders. And lastly, we have some Figma figures, and let's jump straight into the final thoughts. Alright, so for the final thoughts, this figure is definitely a must-have. Beautiful paintwork, amazing sculpt, does come with a fair amount of stuff. And most importantly, the articulation is amazing. And this is a really, really popular character. Probably the most ridiculous um, regular release shortage I've seen in a very long time. Um, Bandai is doing a reissue right away. Again, probably the fastest I have ever seen. And yeah, um, I think that's it from me. Do let me know in the comments on what you think. Hopefully the lying anime continues to do well. And this is Eric. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.